hello everybody i'm here with emmanuel and hello. this project for um using the ender tree for science so some time ago we did we destroy an ender tree and build three or four pumps out of it and i thought that the idea was interesting because the 3d printer is just a three axis robot that you can use as much as you want so you get three motors plus one and I think you can do quite a lot with um, a simple Ender tree. So we opened this contest. The contest was tell me your idea on how we'll use an Ender tree, and the winner gets a 3D printer, an Ender tree. Emmanuel here is helping me in deciding which one are the one, um, the best one that we uh, want to put online, and we decide for three projects. The first project is an ender blotting. So, Emmanuel, can you explain in a few minutes what is a blotting or a Western blot? So, Western blot is means you, you just run your protein, then you're looking for a protein of interest. You end up usually have many gels, many baths, many things. It's split everywhere on the bench. It's getting very messy, and depositing is often um, a lot of damage. So, the idea is to help a lot of people because there's a lot of people doing western blotting and doing that in an automated fashion so it's also saving buffer so saving money uh, having something a bit neater in terms of deposition and having a better result or where your protein is and to make sure you deposit the amount which is needed and that's a very important thing because western blotting is still a basic process in many many labs Thank you. So the first idea here was to make an ender blotting. So it's really very uh, well detailed. There are a lot of moving parts and solution to push around and to withdraw and to remove liquids. Uh, as Emmanuel said, it's a quite complex um, setup, but it looks really nice. And especially I like how the head of the printer is going to push syringes around. Um, your idea, Emmanuel? comments yeah i think we we're good to go for the next one mm -hmm. all right then we have the electro spin so the electro spin is just a machine that spins a really thin layer of um whatever polymer you have for making nanofibers or microfibers and you have a syringe which is connected to the beds with high voltage you are pushing and you are creating those fibers the idea here is again to use an ender tree for making those fibers. So you can also use the bed for making those fibers as, um, as you like. So you have the three motors for controlling uh, the stage and the X and Y and one motor for pushing the polymer through. This is also very much doable, I think. Um, and it's a nice project as well. Something from your side. I think I, I, I quite like the, the possibility to use a rolling system on the on the third um, axis in order to spool uh, some of the fibers. That could be quite interesting for other projects. And the control of a spool is also quite a, a neat thing to see implemented on an Ender Pro rather than a movement, rather than a lateral. Indeed, that's quite nice. All right, then the last one, it's an Ender tree for automatic colorimetric detection. So in this, want to use um, mixer, microfluidic mixer, you mix a color and which one is the best mixer. For doing this, the idea is to have some, probably hopefully our syringe pump connected to the micro reactor or microfluidics. You have the mixer and you, you spill some droplets on a filter paper. This filter paper is connected to a stepper motor, so it's moving in one direction, and you have a colorimetric detection for those spots. So everything should be automatic here and also controlled by G codes. Um, so you have probably three motors here and one motor for moving the filter paper. Manuel? So it's, it's, it's quite a nice idea because it combined microfluidic with a detection systems. Uh, hopefully the online colorimeter will be linked to a camera which allows to recording as it goes and allow you to run very, very long uh, and complex uh, mix over a long period of time, which could save your nights. So I think that could be an interesting one uh, for people who want to have a longer nap <laughs> in between session in the lab this is what we want to do with automatic everything that's uh, yes that's please let's go home <laughs> 
All right. Um, so how is going to be now? We are putting this video on YouTube. Uh, you can vote by comment which one is your favorite. If it's the ender blotting and the electrospin or the automatic color metric detection. We will leave one week. So on the 5th of January at midnight um, GMT plus one time, we will close it. And the one that got most votes um, will win an ender tree. Um, that's it. Uh, those one were really nice idea, really um, out of the box ideas and something that you can do with 200 euro if you have an ender tree. So I really uh, want to see some of this project, if not all of them, become reality because they are super nice. Thank you. And thank so you, Emmanuel. Don't forget to vote. And not only voting, if you have any comments on implementation, if you want to help, if you want to support some of the groups, please let us know and we'll put you in touch with the people who came out with these ideas because I think it's a community of ideas. So let's go for it. Thanks Thank very so much. much. Bye.